County. Give it up for Phil Brooks, everybody. <laughs> Sir, get off Tinder or Grinder. I'm not done to you. <laughs> Guess what? what? It's Black History Month, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm celebrating. I drank out of every water fountain on the way here, goddamn. <laughs> My grandfather told me that one would kill. Yeah, he said he used to he used to do it in the 50s. I um I'm celebrating the 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 month, you know. So uh I usually uh I used to drive in the city. But fuck that. They told my car. I miss it. Now I'll take the train everywhere I go. It's 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 the easiest way to get around, you know? But given the month, I'm celebrating, so I took the bus. <laughs> and I did, not, I did not sit in the back, goddamn. I stretched out in the front. Hell yeah, for my ancestors. So, so a few stops uh, onto the bus, um, this old white man gets on, right? Yeah, we're going there. And yeah, like, <laughs> He had like two canes. <laughs> that is not the funny part. <laughs> uh, so he, he walks up. Uh, I'm stressed out in the front, chilling. And he walks up and he goes, uh, you mind holding one of my canes while I sit down? So I said, uh, excuse me, sir, I don't think you know what month it is. <laughs> but uh, I'm, uh, I'm sitting, I'm gonna need you to I let him sit next to me. All right, it's Black History Month, but I'm not an asshole, all right? <laughs> so uh, a few minutes later, um, he's looking over at me. He's about to say something to me. So he says, uh, so I guess you are going to the Oscars this year, huh? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> so my way off the bus, I picked up one of his fucking canes and put that shit in the back of the bus. So I guess you won't be going to the Oscars either. <laughs> I'm making, it's a made up story, all right? Yeah, like, see some of y'all, this racist mother. <laughs> so, um, it's cold as shit outside. Yeah, six coats, five scarves. Uh, I, I, I need to go, you know, I, I go on vacation all the time. I can't take this weather. It's, it's bad. Um, the other day I went out of town you know, the first time it was freezing, that snowstorm we had a couple days ago. And, um, you know, I went out town with my, with my cousin on vacation. And, um, sir, what do two young single guys do on vacation right after they check into the hotel? Sleep? If any of his friends are here tonight, do not go on vacation with this guy. Well, I was thinking you were gonna say the bar. I, I was thinking you were to say the bar. I go to the bar, but my cousin thought we should get on Tinder. Y'all know what Tinder is, right? If you haven't heard about Tinder, where the fuck have you been? It's the shit. Tinder's basically the microwave of dating sites, all right? Some people act like they're too good to use it, but shit heats up quick. All right, I'll explain it for those of you who are still acting like you're innocent. All right, you, 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 you put your sentence to women, this is Manhattan, so, or whatever you're into, and the pictures pop up. And you swipe right if you like, and left if you think it's a man. <laughs> and, so um, back in the day when I was active, I'm not anymore, um, we would just get on and swipe right for everyone, because you know, it's a numbers game. Whoever you match with, matches them or not. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so I tried that the other day and uh, I think I tendered, got hit to the abuse we were giving it because uh, when I tried it the other day, a guy popped up and we matched <laughs> through to my quick spot. I didn't see him, all right? I, I didn't even read his bio or anything. And um, I think this was Tinder saying like, hey, uh, you notice, we noticed you were liking a lot of people here. Uh, maybe you're ready for the next level. <laughs> No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, you know, so, um, but like an hour later after my second round of free swipes, cause you know they charge for that shit now, um, I matched with the woman, you know, so I'm good, I'm like, oh yeah, 
So uh, I said to her, um, where's the party at? Because me and my cousin figure wherever there's a party, uh, there's more girls. He don't got to do no swiping, you know? <laughs> Economies of scale. Learn about this. <laughs> so um, I said to her, uh, so she says, uh, yeah, there's a party later. Would you like to come? I'm like, hell yeah. She know what month it is. <laughs> So uh, she says, before I seen the address, send me a dick pic. Whoa. It's a tough decision because what's this dick pic really for? Is it for her or the party? Because if it's for the party, I'm not sure there's a party I want to be around with uh, my cousin. You know, you cannot cross swords with family. <laughs> or anyone else for that matter. Ugh. So uh, I, I said to her, you know, I'm figuring, you know, she wants to see a big dick pic, so I, I'm talking shits, hoping she thinks my dick's big, because uh, it's a 50, 50 chance she'll think it is, because I got a hot phone, iPhone 6 Plus. If she got an iPhone 4, my shit ain't gonna look the same if I send it. <laughs> so I was like, look, girl, uh, my, my shit's so big, I can't even see you just one picture. I'm at to send like three. <laughs> you know, I don't know if your phone can handle all that. You, know, you got Dropbox? <laughs> you download my shit. So that shit ain't work. <laughs> So now I had to send her a picture. So I manned up, sent that shit, all of it. She says, nice, nice. So I'm like, hey, cousin, we're gonna get to go to this party. And then she goes, uh, now send me one with your dick hard. It's like, bitch, my dick was hard. <laughs> kind of guy sending her flats of penis pictures when dick pics were requested. Ew. I'm Phil Brooks, though, guys. You've been wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs>